Uh, today, our little project is, as uh, many of my friends know, we have sold all our old antique furniture, and we're modifying some of the furniture here to match the new furniture that isn't here yet. And one of the things are these marble tabletops. We want to change the color on the marble tabletop. Relatively easy. The tops come right off. And now we're ready. We can go downstairs and we can do a, what I hope is going to be a faux finish to turn these marble tops to match the new furniture. So this is, the, this is marble. Nice solid piece of marble. And the first step on this whole thing is going to be to clean this, totally clean this, with uh, one of several chemicals, M600, which I'll do because Karen is kind of allergic to the M600. We want to get all the grease and wax and everything off of it first. And this is just body shop degreaser that I'm using, just to get all the wax and fingerprints off of this, especially on the edge. And then what Karen is going to do, being uh, we have done this a few times before, is you do a faux marble finish. And she has that pretty well down with science. But we want to make all the grain in the marble, we want it to, to be turquoise now to match the new turquoise furniture that we're going to get. And if we have one pillow already that matches a complete color match, so what I did is I matched up the paint from the paint that I have in the shop. Now the objective here is we're just going to go over the gray first with some of this material to try to make the veins. The, the new furniture we're getting is going to be turquoise, so we want this to kind of match. And this is the kind of thing you can go over and over and over until you're really happy with the way it's going to look. And this will be, this will be time consuming. Now we did a combination of things here. I had hit this with an airbrush just a little bit, just to bring out the highlights. As soon as Karen, what we're trying to do is go over all the gray areas with this color turquoise that matches the furniture. Then I'm going to take it outside and put some urethane clear just to protect it. Well, it's certainly going to match the furniture. That's that, that, It just happens. I had saved from a uh, from years and years ago. It's It's actually Honda paint. <laughs> Now what this is is a piece of cardboard and we saw this on TV and we've done when we did our first marble thing just a piece of cardboard to put in some to work like a feather like a, fe a feather works good too but the more random you make it the better because in the end when that has the clear on it that is really going to well, look one nice. is one is busy drying she's starting on the second one Now we're planning as part of this renovation in the house we're going to do cornices and curtains and a, a lot of other, a lot of crafty stuff so and we really do enjoy I hope you enjoy uh, sharing our little adventure with us and that's what it always is a little adventure so once Karen has decided that's about the look that she's after and of course that's all in the eye of the beholder but at least one thing we know for sure it's a perfect color match Now the objective is to get one coat on everything, let it dry 20 minutes, and then get a second coat. Now our first coat is dry, and it's roughly about 20 minutes later, it gets like flypaper tacky to the touch. We're ready for the second coat. Check that no leaf has blown into our, our project while we're doing it.
And once that dries, that should be a nice addition to, uh, to our living room. Well, I don't know. Until we get the, uh, this has got to dry overnight. And we got to reassemble the tables. And of course get the, uh, the final approval once we have the new furniture here, which is going to be a few weeks. It's not going to be right away, that's for sure. But I think that's a nice little project. Almost no money. Now with the final uh, assembly of the table. I think that was quite a nice little project to work on. It certainly has a, a nice look. And in the end I know it's going to match the furniture perfectly. And again, thanks again for watching.